No matter where you're from, my guess is you understand the importance of green bean casserole at the Thanksgiving table. This recipe uses fresh green beans, which I really love. The first order of business is to preheat the oven to 425 and then give a baking sheet like this a good spray and we will start making homemade onion rings. We'll do a quarter cup all-purpose flour, a quarter cup whole wheat flour, garlic powder, a little bit of cayenne pepper. I think kind of a lot would be good though, like that. And we'll do a little bit of salt, black pepper, and we'll whisk this together. Then we will cut up some onions. Take your giant pile of onion rings and break them up into this flour mixture. So just get in here. It's a lot of onion tossing. You'll add a half a cup of buttermilk. And then now you'll toss again. We'll grab a larger bowl. And then we'll do one cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs. Add two tablespoons of olive oil. So then we'll mix this up. You'll add the onions to this mixture for the third round of tossing. So now once these are all coated in the breadcrumb mixture, you'll just pop them onto the sheet tray. And then you'll spread these out. Now we'll head to the oven. We'll start on the green beans. Get a big pot of water on. Add a little salt there. You'll bring this up to a boil. So while the water is coming up to a boil, I'm going to finish trimming the green beans. You need a pound of fresh green beans. You just want to cut them so that they're all even, about two to three inches long, sort of bite size. So this water is up to a boil. Add the green beans. The green beans don't need long at all, like two to three minutes, just so that they get to be a little bit tender and they'll turn a little bit brighter green. Go ahead and turn the burner off. Adding a little bit of cool water helps to stop the cooking process. They'll stay a little bit brighter green. And I'm going to go grab the onion rings. Yum, they smell so good. Okay, so pop your green beans into a big bowl, and then you'll have cream of mushroom soup, not condensed, this is essential, and then you'll do half of the onion rings. Mix this all up, add a little salt and pepper. Okay, then, You'll have a casserole dish. You need it to be about a nine by 13. Spray it really well with spray oil. And then put the green beans in and spread this out. And you'll add the rest of the onion rings just on top. The casserole will bake for about 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven. You just want it to be bubbly and hot. This is one of those recipes that will remind you of home, but feel like something new. Fresh green bean casserole.